It was the president's office, and everyone was looking very worried. What do we do now, Secretary Shimmer? I don't know, Mr. President. You had promised your daughter that you will have a new ride around town in her name as a gift on her eighth birthday. But the Mr. Archimedes Armadillo, who was supposed to invent the bus, suddenly had a new idea in his bathtub and hasn't been seen since. Do you remember what had happened the last time my daughter did not get the gift that she wanted? <laughs> Secretary Shimmer, call Mr. Egbert Dumpty immediately. <laughs> and so, the next day... You want me to invent a bus? Yes, I had promised my daughter a unique and special gift for her birthday. And what exactly is a bus? I don't know. Mr. Archimedes Armadillo was supposed to invent it, but he has left town. So, Mr. Egbert, can you invent a bus in three days? I guess I can. And so Mr. Egbert and his team of eggs worked day and night inside their small invention factory for the next three days, not even taking a tiny break to hatch. Darling, please do as Mr. Egbert Dumpty says. The bouncy, ultra catchy song. In short, a bus. All aboard the bus. Round and round, round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Said the wheels on the bus go round and round.
bus go snore, 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 snore. The daddies on the bus go snore, snore, snore all day long, all day long, all round the town, all day long, all round the town, all day long, all round the town. Yeah, yeah. The grannies on the bus go. What's that noise? What's that noise? What's that noise? The grannies on the bus go. What's that noise? All day long. Wookie E1 Frenny Fly Brawn Brawn Beetle Achy Bakey Roach Where you like. But I didn't, Frenny. I was fast asleep on the plane. You must have been sleep webbing then. You made a web all across the windscreen and caused a plane to crash into the Goopu Goopu River. It's not called the Goopu Goopu River. It's called the Krakana River. What a strange name. Why Krakana? Because it's full of crocodiles and piranhas. What do we do now, Incy? The forest is too thick and dangerous to walk through. Don't worry, Frenny. With your beauty and my brains, we will manage something. Guess I'll just stand here looking beautiful then. That's ingenious, Incy. You really did good this time. Now let me add something to this. Frenny, you've got us rowing oars. Yes! Now let's get rowing and find a way out of this horrible jungle. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, merrily. Did you hear that, NC? Who sang that? I don't know, Frenny. Maybe it's the rowing affecting our ears. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, merrily. I definitely hear someone singing this time, Incy. You are right, Frenny. We can't both have imagined the, the same stream. song. Merrily, 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 Let's merrily, continue like rowing and see if the song comes back. Everyone, let's start rowing! Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. your boat gently down the stream if you see a crocodile don't forget to scream <coughs> row 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 your boat gently down the stream if you see a crocodile don't forget to scream <coughs> your boat gently down the stream merrily 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 life is but a dream row 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 your boat gently down the stream merrily 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 life is but a dream Frenny help Incy I have an idea row around the crocodile Hold on tight! It's going to be a super speedy 
away from the hungry crocodile and straight to the rescue spot. Incy, just because a girl is beautiful does not mean she is not brainy. You are so right, Frenny. It's just that I thought that because I am brainy but not beautiful, the opposite must also be true. Everyone is beautiful, Incy, even you, just in your own ways. Incy Wincy Spider and his pals Aiky Bakey Roach and Wookie E Worm were sitting at Old Mother Hubbard's shoe and brownie shop. I can't believe Franny Fly is not returning my calls. I always said she was not a good girl for you, Incy. I don't believe it. She said she would love me for all my life. But a fly only lives for 28 days. That's 27 days too many. <laughs> I thought you were my friends. Aki is just kidding. He didn't mean it. Suddenly, Brawn Brawn Beetle came running in. Listen here, I just got news. Freddy Fly's been kidnapped by Hokey Pokey Pig. What? what? Incy Wincy Spider, Aki Bakey Roach, and Wookie E Worm stood outside Hokey Pokey Pig's mansion, wondering how to rescue Frenny Fly. Listen, pals, I thought you were rotten guys, but you turned out to be not so rotten after all. A bug in need is a bug indeed. You wait here. I'm going to crawl all the way up the wall and find out where Hokey Pokey Pig is keeping Frenny. Wookie E Worm started to crawl up the wall. Suddenly, there was a buzzing noise, and Wookie bounced off the wall. He fell upside down on the ground. Wookie! Wookie! Wake up! What happened to you? Uh, that bleeping Hokey Pokey Pig! He's got the walls all electrified. I'll fly up and look through the windows. Aiky Bakey Roach flew up, but barely a second had passed and he was knocked out of the air by a laser beam. No luck. Motion detector cameras equipped with lasers. There's only one way to do it. I've got to go up the water spout. Aiky Bakey Roach and Wookie E Worm looked at him horrified. They knew Incy Wincy Spider and his history with water spouts. But, but but whenever you climb a water spout, you are knocked down by the water flowing down it. You had vowed never to climb another spout in your life. You can't risk your life, Incy. I've got to do it. If I do not do something like this for my love, then it is not true love. And so, Incy Wincy Spider forgot his fears and started climbing up the water spout. The Incy Wincy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain And the incy wincy spider went up the spout again The incy wincy spider went up the water spout Down came the rain and washed the spider out Out came the sun and dried up all the rain And the incy wincy spider went up the spout again
Itty incy wincy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the incy wincy spider went up the spout again. Incy wincy spider finally made it to the top on the roof. He found Frenny Fly tied up to a chair. Incy Wincy Spider untied Frenny Fly and they hugged each other. Yay! You, you did, did it, Incy! Incy, you came for me! Yes! Now let's get away before Hokey Pokey Pig finds out. We will take care of him another day. Incy Wincy Spider grabbed onto Frenny Fly who flew them both the way to their home. And they lived happily ever after. Or at least, for 28 days. Because as Wookie E. Worm rightfully said, a fly only lives 28 days. Baa Baa Black Sheep was a very honest and hard-working janitor at the Ponzi School for the ultra-gifted young rhymers. One day, the school announced a brand new cafeteria, whose food was supplied by Hokey Pokey Pig. Baa! What's this? Bah! It sure smells nice! It is! I had five cups of it just after adverbs and antverbs class. I also bought a two liters tub to feast on before sleep. You mean this sticky, gooey, nice tasting stuff can be eaten as well? Yes, it is really dreamy. From the time I have started eating this, I only dream of piles and piles of this every night. Ba Ba Black Sheep had had a very green diet all his life. Pink was a brand new culinary color to Ba Ba. Mr. Ba Ba Black Sheep, sir? Yes, Mrs. Hardy Hamster, ma'am? I know you have been very dedicatedly following your routine of cleaning the school ever since you joined, but I would like you to include a new section in your cleaning schedule. Bah! New section? Yes. You know we have opened a new cafeteria. And for some reason, it has become quite sticky and gooey and pinky. I would really appreciate it if you could find time and clean it every day. It would be my pleasure, ma'am. I've been noticing the children coming out all sticky, and it is not a very hygienic sign. I'm so glad you understand. Here are an extra set of keys to the new cafeteria. You can clean it after school hours. Thus, Baba -ba Black Sheep started cleaning the new cafeteria every day after school hours. Every day, he would carefully wipe, scrape, mop and clean every sticky bit of pink gooey stain he could find on the walls and floor of the new cafeteria. This went on for a few days. Bah! I cannot stop thinking about the pink gooey stuff. I gotta have it! Honey, what's wrong? Are you hungry? I can make a quick grass shake for you. No, dear, it's nothing. Go to sleep. The next day, when the children had all left... Ah, this is beautiful! I have never tasted anything so sweet and beautiful in all my life! I can live in this room forever! Ba! 
Ah, it's so late. My family will be waiting for me. I need to go. Bah, I cannot leave. I cannot imagine being without this sweet sugary stuff. I need to take it with me. As he was driving towards home, Ba Ba Black Sheep started to realize that he might not be doing the correct thing. But the lure of the candy floss was such that he could not stop and turn back. Hello, Mr. Ba Ba Black Sheep, sir. What have we here? Your car seems to be stuffed with fluff. Ba, hello, Sergeant Cone Lips Crocodile. I'm just delivering some wool for the school. Hmm, is that right? Ba, yes, I would say so, Sergeant. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Ba, ba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. You know, sir, I have known you such a long time, and I would say you wouldn't normally do anything that is not correct. But times change, and sometimes people do things that are not right. But I trust you will do the correct thing in the end. You can go now, sir. But I must tell you, I have never seen any wool in my life that was pink in color. Bah! I cannot do this. I must go back. Mrs. Haughty Hamster, I have something to tell you. What is it, Mr. Ba Ba Black Sheep? I have done something terribly wrong. I have stolen the pink gooey stuff from the new cafeteria using the key that you trusted me with. Oh my, I cannot believe it. You would never do something like that. But I did. The pink gooey stuff made me do it. It was in my dreams. I could not stop thinking of it. Then there must be something wrong with it. I have received complaints from the children's parents that they have been getting fatter every day. But I did not think that Candy Floss was responsible for it. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. I will have it checked immediately. And if you could, please have the pink gooey stuff removed from my car as well. I do not trust myself to do it. Do not worry, Mr. Ba Ba Black Sheep, sir. I will have it taken care of right away. And so, Mrs. Haughty Hamster investigated and found out that the candy floss was causing the students high levels of addiction and unhealthiness and had the contract with Hokey Pokey Pigs, Pink and Fluffy Make Mo Money Confectionaries cancelled. Instead, she requested Mrs. Ba Ba Black Sheep to take care of the menu in the new cafeteria. And the students started enjoying grilled grass marinate on Mondays, tandoori grass tikas on Tuesdays, wok pan grass on Wednesdays, tom yum grass soup on Thursdays, garlic grass fried on Fridays, grass stuffed with grass on Saturdays, and some even came to school for steamed grass pancakes on Sundays. <laughs> Once upon a time, there lived a very successful businessman named Mr. Bill King. He had a team of very intelligent horses 
and very crafty men that worked under him. Day in and day out, Mr. King's horses and Mr. King's men worked, building new inventions every day and making tons of money for Mr. King. One day, Mr. King made an announcement to the world. I have created a button that can undo anything. It's called the undo button. With this, just by pressing Ctrl and Z, I shall be able to undo anything, take back kingdoms, and even turn back time. The world was horrified. Mr. King had the power to undo everything and bring the world back to the Dark Ages. Call Mr. Egbert Dumpty immediately. Yes, Mr. President. Mr. King has invented something terrible. We must think of a way to stop him. Mr. Egbert thought for a while, and then he snapped his fingers. Aha! I've got it! Mr. President, arrange for a public meeting between Mr. King and my son as soon as possible. But, but your son, are you sure? Trust me, Mr. President. Mr. Egbert and Mr. King met at the City Hall at noon the next day. Mr. Egbert's son, Humpty, stood with him, looking quite nervous. There were reporters and news channels and live bloggers noting every move that happened to move. Humpty was afraid to even pick his nose, even though he felt such a terrible itch inside. The whole city had gathered to watch, and everyone wanted a selfie with Mr. King and Mr. Egbert. The president sat at a distance, watching the proceedings quietly. Mr. King, you claim to have invented a button that can undo everything. Yes, indeed, Mr. Egbert. If you fail to undo something I ask you to, will you give up the button? Mr. King thought for a bit because he never did anything without thinking. Yes, indeed. But what if I do manage to undo what you ask me to? You shall become the new president. Everyone gasped in horror and turned to look at the president. The president looked shocked only for a moment and then nodded because he trusted Mr. Egbert. That's settled then. Son, would you sit on that wall, please? Everyone gasped once again. Eggs and walls do not get along well. But Humpty obediently walked to the wall and climbed up and sat on it, because he too trusted his father, Mr. Egbert. Humpty sat uncomfortably for a while, and then wobbled and wobbled some more, and finally lost control and fell down to the ground. He smashed into a hundred thousand pieces. Everyone gasped yet again. There seemed to be an astonishingly large number of gaspings going on that day. Mr. King, I would like to see you undo this. Undo this. Oh, 
This is impossible! I give up! I shall stop the use of the undo button immediately! Everyone cheered this time, marking an end to all the gaspings that day. But, but what of Humpty? Humpty, son, put yourself back together again! Humpty moved his arms and picking up the pieces, put himself back together again in no time. Everyone gathered there, clapped and cheered in delight once again. You see, nothing is impossible, but you have got to do it yourself. Twinkle Twinkle, the little star lived in a quaint little floating house among the clouds with his parents, Papa Star and Mama Star. I'm full, Mama Star. Can I have some more cloud shake? Twinkle, twinkle, you sure love sweet things, just like your Papa. Huh? Thanks, Mama. Twinkle, twinkle, today is your first day at Star School. I hope you are ready. Yes! I'm so excited! Let's go! Bye-bye, Mama! Bye-bye, Papa! See you after school! This is Earth! When you are older, you will light it up in the night. It is so blue and beautiful. It is. But it is filled with people. <laughs> Remember, we can look at them, but we must not interact with them. Oh, why not, Teacher Star? Because their world is separate from ours, and we are not allowed to mingle. That night, Mama Star tucked Twinkle Twinkle in for bedtime. Good night, Twinkle Twinkle. Have bucketfuls of cloudy dreams. You too, Mama. Good night. Remember, we can look at them, but we must not interact with them. Their world is separate from ours, and we are not allowed to mingle. You are so beautiful. I wish I could see you from close. Down below on Earth, Johnny's mom was putting Johnny to sleep. Sweet dreams. Good night, Johnny. Good night, mom. Whoa! What are you? <laughs> I am a star. And what are you? I am a human. You are so bright and shiny. Will you be my friend? I don't know. Teacher said we are not supposed to mingle with earth dwellers. What if we kept it a secret? No one will ever know. All right. It'll be our secret. I must go now before Mama Star sees me gone. But I will come back tomorrow, my friend. Goodbye, my friend. See you tomorrow. You can see me up there tonight, and I will look at you from up above. Wow. I will look out for you in the sky. Go to
Inspector L. Elephant, the burglaries occurred in dark vaults where it would be impossible for anyone to see anything. In fact, the areas were so dark that even the CCTV cameras don't show anything. Just what Captain Buffo Bison says. It was so dark in there that even my flashlight was blanked by the darkness. And that's not the end of it, Inspector L. There is no window or door through which the burglar could have entered, except for the main vault doors, which would need an explosive to open. But the CCTV cameras do not show any explosions or light of any kind. Just what Captain Buffo Bison says. It's almost as if the burglar was a g g g g ghost. Sergeant Cone Lips Crocodile, we can't have this kind of talk in here. It is enough that the media is spooking out the general public without us policemen adding to the nonsense. But, 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 but what do we do, Inspector L? Go to Alice, the farmer's wife. She's the only person who can solve the case. Inspector L, you know the police department does not approve of her methods. Captain Boffo, we have no choice. take the case on one condition. What's that, Alice? I will treat the burglar a lesson as I please. Uh, uh, as you please? Yes. Does the police department agree? Inspector L said we have no choice. Go ahead, Alice. Solve the case. <laughs> They are blind mice. That's how they see their way in the dark. And they are tiny, so they do not need to enter through the door or window. They simply crawl through the drain pipes. Stop! 
Who's there? It's Alice, the farmer's wife. We're caught. Ah! Help! Oh, look at those three mice. Look how they run. Three blind mice. Three blind mice. See how they run. See how they run. They all ran after the farmer's wife who cut up their tails with a carving knife. Did you ever you see such a thing in your life as three blind mice? Three blind mice. Oh, how strange. Three blind mice. Three blind mice. See how they run. See how they run. They all ran after the farmer's wife who cut up their tails with a carving knife. Did you ever you see such a thing in your life as three blind mice? Three blind mice. Look at those mice run! Three blind mice, three blind mice See how they run, see how they run <laughs> They all ran after the farmer's wife Who cut up their tails with a carving knife Did you ever you see such a thing in your life As three blind mice, three blind mice <laughs> Incy Wincy Spider <coughs> Wookie E Worm Frenny Fly <coughs> Brawn Brawn Beetle Beaky Beaky Roach See your babies in the evening. Take care and don't let the critters steal your lunch boxes. Okay, Mama Ooga Wooga, we will take care. I think my school bag is kind of lighter. Oh no, have the critters stolen your lunchbox? Yeah, yeah, you're right. What wool I eat for lunches? Don't worry, we will share our lunches with you. Rose, I think my school bag's a bit lighter too. My God, have the critters gotten your lunchbox too? Ah, uh, yeah, they have, they have. What will I do now? What? Don't worry, Bo. Why? We still have three lunch boxes to share. <laughs> I think we do not have three lunch boxes anymore. What? Why? The critter are gonna grab my lunch box also. Oh, no. Oh, no. What the hook will we do now? Mama Uncle Uncle Pack very big lunch. We have enough in two box to feed everyone. Oh no, what I was afraid of has happened. Not your lunch box too. We will have only one left for the five of us. No, we don't. We have lost all our lunches. What will we do? Hmm? <laughs> Drat them critters! I have had enough of it! I will take care of them once and for all! Five little monkeys jumping on the bed one fell off and bumped his head Mama called the doctor and the doctor said No more monkeys jumping on the bed Four little monkeys 
he's jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama caught the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama caught the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. One little monkey jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, Put those monkeys straight to bed. That's you, critters. There will be no more trouble from the lot of you. Thank you, Mama Unka Wonka. Because of you, the Goopu Goopu Islands are free of the five little monkeys' menace. <laughs> Yay! Yay! We, we had had lunch again. again! Yes, you will. <laughs> Incy Wincy Spider and Frenny Fly were enjoying a holiday in the Goopu Goopu Islands. Frenny, what did you think about my home? I liked it, Incy, but I think it's much too sticky. I was having trouble just getting my feet off the floor. Oh! Plus, I don't like the sight of all those dead insects caught in your web. <laughs> What's that? Sounds like a baby. Let's go look. Incy Wincy Spider and Frenny Fly hurried into the jungle to look where the crying was coming from. Look, it's coming from there! Incy and Frenny made their way through the woods to discover a baby finger lying all alone in a sunflower. Oh my, it's a baby finger! Shh, hush baby finger, hush! Let's take him to his parents. I know the finger family home is just around the mango grove. Incy and Frenny made their way to the Finger family home. The Finger family home looked just like a glove, with four chimneys sticking out of the top, looking like fingers, and a short side exit that looked like a thumb. Incy knocked on the door. Oh, baby finger! Where were you? Daddy Fingers worried silly looking for you everywhere. Mommy Finger. And so, Incy Wincy Spider and Frenny Fly were introduced to the Finger family. The Finger family treated them to a delightful meal of fried toenails and dead skin crispies. I'm so full I could fart. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Finger, I'm curious. The side entrance is so small. How does anyone manage to get in and out? Oh, all of us fingers can change sizes. Don't you know that? Children, show her. And lo, in front of their eyes, Baby Finger, Sister Finger, and Brother Finger shrunk to half their sizes and back again. That's amazing! If you ever need our help any time on this island, just sing, Daddy Finger, Daddy Finger, where are you? Okay, we will remember that. Incy Wincy Spider and Frenny Fly started to walk back to the beach. 
but they found their paths blocked by Hokey Pokey Pig and his henchmen. Git Got Goat and Smooth Smiley Swan. Aha! You thought you had escaped me, but here I am again! Incy and Frenny looked at each other, worried. It was only three days back that Incy had saved Frenny from Hokey Pokey Pig. What do we do, Incy? I know! Let's call the Finger Family! Daddy Finger, Daddy Finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Mommy Finger, Mommy Finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Brother Finger, Brother Finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Sister Finger, Sister Finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Baby Finger, Baby Finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Are these three causing you any trouble? Don't worry, Finger Family will take care of them. Ow! Ooh! Ah! No! Ah! Ooh! Ooh! Ah! Ooh! They will not cause you any more trouble. We will make sure of that. Oh, thank you! We are grateful to you! Oh no! We are grateful that you found Baby Finger for us. And even if you had not, we would have helped you. Because helping others is so much fun. And thus ended another nursery rhyme adventure with Incy Wincy Spider and Frenny Fly flying happily away into the sunset. You've got to say this about fingers. You can always count on them. without fowls. It's worse than that, Inspector L. Elephant. I could not make out my wife's grocery list. She's gonna be mad when I get home. Hey, look at Captain Boppo Bison. We've scoped out all of Nurseryville. There's not a fowl to be found. What do we do? How about Alice? She did a good job on the three blind mice case. Oh, m m my Her methods are very extreme. We have no choice. Let's do it. Yes? Well, well, we need help. All the vowels have gone missing. Don't I know it? I can't read any of my emails. I will help, but under one condition. Well, well, what condition? I get to decide the punishment for the perpetrator. All right, permission granted. That's where the disappearance started. And that's where the criminals must be. Inspector L. Elephant, it's game time.
could have done this. Isn't it obvious? But, but, but why did they do it? You tell them, B. We all decided it. It was simply too much to bear. All we heard every day was A-E-I-O-U, A-E-I-O-U. It was as if the other letters didn't exist. We didn't want the world questioning our existence. Yeah, no one even uses me anymore. We wanted to show the world that the rest of us letters are as important as the vowels. But what you did was wrong. You must be punished. As we agreed, I will decide the punishment. What punishment? You must get together with the vowels again and sing the alphabet song as you march down Alphabet Street. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, U, N, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now we're singing our ABCs. Come on, everybody sing with me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, U, N, V. W, X, Y, Z Now we're singing our ABC Come on, everybody sing with me A, B, C, D, E, F, G H, I, J, K, L, M, N, P Q, R, S, T, U, N, V W, X, Y, Z Now we're singing our ABCs Come on, everybody sing with me. Bump, bump.